Hello awesome people, welcome back to Parcel Creation Video Tutorial. My name is Solomon and in today's video we are going to look at how to design this in Adobe Photoshop. So this is a citation design, okay, so we are going to look at how to achieve the same result. And also I designed this clock in conjunction with this one, so it is the same person and I have designed this clock where we are going to put the design in the clock, okay. So, but we are going to look at how to design only the citation for now and if you guys really really want to see how to design the clock let me know in the comment section and also give me 50 likes on this video to really show that you really need this video okay and also my activity for today i also designed this church flyer and if you guys want to see this church flyer also leave me a comment and i will know how to go about it and this was also another design that we are going to put on a mag okay so we are going to put it on a cup and it is going to look good so if you guys want to see all of these let me know in the comment section which of these flyers that i should do next and please don't forget to like the video subscribe to the channel and be part of the awesome family so without further ado let's jump right into photoshop so first of all we will go to file and then select new and a new dialog box is going to open in photoshop for us then you are going to choose the size of the design all right so when you have this document you can choose to name your file over here let's say maybe citation okay so you can write whatever that you want to write over here and then also i have the size that i'm going to use for this design okay so i would like to type it in inches so i have my inches here and here goes as 15 inches by 19 okay and resolution 300 then i'll click on create so a new canvas is going to open in photoshop for us and this is where the magic will start happening okay so first of all i already have my file that i'm going to use for this design so i have the image already cropped or i have removed the background already and i'm going to use this background okay and then also i have my test that i'm going to use so if you look at the design you can see i have this as part of my background and the rest okay and you can also see that i have my work very organized here so please if you also want to get this psd file in the form of contributing to the channel to support the channel in a way you can go ahead and get this psd file okay so let's go back to our document so i started with the shapes too specifically the rectangle too so i'll select the rectangle to over here and then i'm going to click and drag to make the shape just like this so just draw as you can see over here and when you are done you can click on ctrl o to fit everything to screen and then i'll also increase the size over here so you can see the pounding box over here just click and drag to increase some of the size over here okay if you need to hold the shift key you have to do so that it will keep everything proportion for you and some people also say that why is it that your shape is too long i know the reason and i have a reason that i have drawn it over the canvas okay so this is very very big more than the canvas and then i'm going to make a duplicate of this so when you come here i have this layer i will click and drag this one to the plus here this will duplicate the layers so when i click and drag over here you can see that the duplicate is real okay and i, I also like to leave a space just a little bit over here so i will select both of them with the help of the shift key and i will move this one a little bit here all right then let's go back to the first design you can see i have some rotation going on here okay so i'll do the same thing for here so if you have the bounding box if you don't have it you can go to here on the top and click on show transforms you can see it goes and comes so if you have the bounding box check all you need to do is to come over here and then click and drag and also hold down the shift key to rotate this one in degree so i'll keep it at 15 degrees and i'll click on this check mark to commit changes all right Control o to fit everything to screen so next you can see i have this 
background that I added here. So let's do the same thing. So to do the same thing, I'll select that shape. You can see the shape is here. Okay. Then I'll go to my source files and please I will leave this in the description below for you to download and so that you can also practice alongside me. So I'll click and drag this one into Photoshop and I'll leave it. So when it is done, what I'll do is that with the bounding box around this shape, I'm going to click and drag this to fill the whole canvas just like this. And then I'll position it just how I want it and click on enter to accept changes. And also guys, if you want to have a lot of this showing up, okay, all you need to do is to decrease the size of this one, okay? So I think something like this might be cool. When you are okay with it, you click on this bounding box to accept changes. Next, with my shape selected, so if you have your shape selected, right click on it and then you are going to see clipping marks, okay? So you are going to click on create clipping marks and boom, you are going to have something like this, okay? Next, with the help of the rectangle tool again, all right? So the tools today, what we are exploring more is the rectangle tool. All right, so I'll click and drag to draw a rectangle just like this. When you are okay with it, you leave it and wait for it to load. And then I'll change the fill color over here so you can see we have fill here. So I can click here and select color. Or if you don't have the white, you can click here and you select your color, okay? So when you are done, go back to your move tool, okay? And then I'm going to align this one to the center. So to do that, we need to make a selection. So I'll go to select and then I'll select everything. Shortcut is control A. And then I'm going to have this check mark around the whole canvas. Okay, meaning everything is selected. Then make sure I have this layer selected. Then if you are on the move to, you will have access to this alignment. I'll click on this align center and align center okay one is for vertical and one is for horizontal when you are done you go back to the selection or select and then you click on deselect and you can notice the shortcut is control d so if you don't see me going there but applying it then you know definitely what to do next okay next if you look at our design, you can see we have some shadows going around this. Okay, so okay, so that is pretty much simple. So to apply the shadow, all we need to do is to select this. Okay, if you don't have auto select on, you can't just click anywhere to select something unless you come to the layer side and you select that layer. But I have auto select check okay so i can just stand anywhere and select whatever i want to select next to apply the shadow we can double click here okay so on that layer we can double click on the empty space here a layer star is going to open for us okay then from here you can see we have drop shadow at the last i'll click on that and boom photoshop is going to apply the last effect that I did. So I would like to increase the size to 10 or 120. And then I will increase the distance a bit. So I will urge you to fine tune these figures, okay? To get a correct drop shadow for your design, okay? So I will urge everyone to fine tune in these figures, okay? So these figures here, so maybe 51 work for me here, but when you type 51, it is not going to work for you. So make sure you find in these figures to get the correct effect on your design. By the way, I had 28 here, 90, 51, 9, 155. Okay, then I will click on OK to apply the changes. All right, so then from here, we are going to add our test. So when you see from here or when you notice from here, you can see I have my test, the name and everything. So let's do that. So first of all, I have everything type here. I'll select the citation, control C to copy. 
I'll select my test tool. So when you come here, you can see big T here. That is the pen tool. Then I'll click and paste in my test. Then also, you can notice that I have some fonts here. So the font that I used, the first one was Afterglow for the test effect. So I'll come here and then I'm going to change that. Okay. So I have my font here selected, click on this mark to accept changes and then I'll change the color also. So if you don't have the character panel also, don't worry, you can go to window and you select the character too, okay? So everything that you can see on this page, just go to window and you are going to see it here. So you have character here. When you click on it, it is going to open somewhere on the canvas for you. Then I'll click on this color and I'll select black. Then from here, I'll select my move tool. And if you have this bounding box, we can just click to enlarge this. Okay. Some of the versions of Photoshop, you will need to hold down the shift key to get everything proportioned. Otherwise, this is what you are going to get. Okay. All right. So I don't think this is the font that I use, by the way. I also love this font, but I think the font that I use is a little different. So guys, I made a mistake of the font. So let me delete this one or let me keep it so that you guys can also go and download that font too. Maybe you will like that. Okay, so these are the font that I, I am using for this design. The first one is not part, but if you love how it looks here, you can go and download that also. It is free on the internet, okay? Then I will change this font to that. I use and select that to replace the first font. All right, so when you change the font, this is how it is going to look like, okay? And then also, I have the other test, so let me go to here, and I'm going to copy this, okay? Then with the help of my test tool, I'm going to paste in the test, okay? And then I'm going to use this font, so I'm not going to use the same font. I will change that to the second font that we have on board. Okay, and then I can also use over here to increase the size of the font. And guys, I am designing a step-by-step -step tutorial beginners class for everyone who wish to learn Photoshop or someone who knows a little bit about Photoshop but finding it difficult to use the program to get the best out of it. Okay, so if you guys want to be part of that, let me know in the comment section and I'll also leave a WhatsApp contact in the description below or on your screen for you to contact me so that I can add you to that class so that you will enjoy as well. And when you join the class at a less fees, you are going to also have one-on-one -on -one chat with me and also be my personal student until you become very good at Photoshop. Alright, so far, if you guys are enjoying this video, please Make sure you leave me a like, leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. This helps the channel to grow and also motivates me to bring you such an amazing content like this, okay? So if this is something that you'd like to see more, also leave me a comment below and then I will know what to do next, okay? So next, with the help of my test tool, I'm going to bring in the name of the person and I would like to change this one to a little bolder so semi bold and click on this mark to accept changes and we are going to align this on the center okay so make sure you have the move to selected Control d to deselect and then i'll also move this one a little bit down then with the help of the rectangle to again we have already used it i'm going to draw a rectangle just like this around this okay then when the rectangle shows we are going to first of all select everything control a or go to select and then on move to we will align this one to center then control d to deselect 
I'll select that with a text and then I'll align this one together. Next, I will only select the rectangle that we drawn and then I'm going to change this one, the fill. So please, if you don't have the property sheet, don't worry, let me hide this and let's select the, make sure you have the rectangle selected and select the shapes too, okay, or the drawing too and you have these options at the top here. So we are going to select this one and select no color for the fill, okay? And then with the stroke, we are going to select a color and I will increase the size to eight. So I will recommend you to use a figure that work for you, okay? Not maybe the figure that I'm using is not going to work for you, all right? Then I would like to select both of them and reduce the size a bit. Then I will move this one a little bit and I also like to reduce the size of this one a bit. Okay, so guys, you can see we have this stroke that is hot, not appealing and we would like to remove it. But one way we can do this to make it simple for us is to increase it width all the way something like this and something like this will work but on do i prefer erasing this part so that i have some like the test is popping out from the lines okay so with my shape selected and with the help of the rectangular marquee tool i will click and drag to make a selection here then when you click on the shift key you see it brings plus here okay so the plus means that we can also add another selection so i'll click and drag to make another selection so i have two selections okay then i'll hold on the shift key or the option key and i'm going to click on this okay to add a negative max and boom you see i have removed those areas when you're done go back to the move tool Control O to fit everything to screen. Next, we are going to add this whole test because you can see we are, we are done with the top one and we will add our subject as well. So with the help of my test tool, you know, we have so many ways of using the test. That's why I recommend you to join my Photoshop beginners class okay so that we are going to learn a lot and you will be able to achieve a lot with photoshop okay so i'll click and drag to make a selection so i am drawing the area that i would like to paste my test okay and i can also use this bounding box okay to increase the size of the place that i have selected and then I'll go back here and I'll copy everything that I would like to include. Control C to copy and I'll just come and paste it. And you can see that guys, we have a problem here. Everything is added, but you see the test is together. So control A to select everything. Then I'll go to window and I'm going to bring in my character. So it is going to open somewhere for me and you see it comes with little bonus as the paragraph okay so you can also use the paragraph to fine tune your test but we are going to focus more on the test now okay so first of all i will reduce the size to 25 and then also the spacing we have we don't have enough space so i'll also increase this one to 25 so we can see we have spaces now okay then I would like to increase the size back to 30 because I want to see it a bit large or let's say 28, not too much large. And I'll move this one a bit up. Okay. Then I'll change this one from semi bold to regular. That's the weight of the font. Okay. Then when you are satisfied with it, you can select the move to or click on here to accept changes but still we have the test tool selected so to remove it just go back to the move to and you'll be fine next i'll go to my source file and i have my subject to add and please i have already made a selection around this image so if you guys want to know how to make a selection a precise selection 
using the pen tool then i will commend you to check out my free course on youtube that is how to use the pen tool and it is going to really really help you and shape you on how you can use the pen tool to achieve a lot in photoshop okay so this is how i would like to position it and this one has been already edited so i'm not going to go over how to retouch or how to color correct this image okay okay so i like the balance i like the balance the contrast in the image next you can see we have this little details that we added like this shape we have another one here we have this long leave this thing and thank you message so let's add few and let's conclude over here so i know or i guess that you guys know how to use the pencil now so i just paste in my content and let's increase the size of this oh it's not coming let's increase the size because and then let's paste the test so let me go here again copy paste my test i don't think the test is coming so let me change the font to afterglow okay then from here let me reduce the size back and increase here all right so guys if you want to also zoom in into your work you can hold down the alt key or option key and with the help of your mouse scroll by you can use it to zoom in and zoom out okay So guys, if you add all your tests, this is what you are going to get. And also, if you can see from here, the earlier test that we used, we have these lines dropping. Okay, so how can we achieve the same thing here? All you need to do is to select the test. And when you use this font, the afterglow font, all you need to do is to come here and click on this. And boom, the magic happens. You see, we have the effects now. And I can change the color and I'll make a sample color. So when you come outside the color picker, you can make a sample here. Then also, if you notice from here, we have these boxes, which is giving some balance to the design. So let's try to do the same thing here. So with the help of my rectangle tool again, I'm going to make a shape. Hold down the shift key to keep it in proportion. And then also I made samples from the colors that were found here. So the first sample that I'm going to make is the red here. Then I can also click and drag this one to the plus here to make a sample. And then with the help of my... And then with the help of my arrows key i can move this one and change the color let's make a sample of this click and drag and then i will use my arrow keys also to move this one then i will come double click on it and make a sample color okay and also i would like to make sure this one is aligned so the interval between them is all the same so with that, I have to select everything. So hold down the control key and select them one by one. And then when you're on the move to, you have access to this one. Okay. So what is it called? Um, distribute horizontally. Okay. So I'll click on this and you see it is now straight. You see this one, this one was here. And if I redo, you can see this one is here. So it is now the interval between them is now equal next i'll select all of the three here then i'm going to put them in a group okay so select all of them control g into group then from here i can right click on this one and merge the group okay then from here what we can do next is to make a copy so I will click here to the plus to make a duplicate. Then 
when you zoom out so you can hold down the shift key you can hold down the alt key and zoom out with the help of your scroll bar and we can move this one all the way up here and we can also leave it to adjust with this line okay so control o to fit everything to screen so this is exactly what i went through to design And I am glad you were able to watch all the way from the beginning to the end. If you got value from this, please don't forget to leave me a like, comment below and let me know in the comment section what you would like to see next or the other designs that I show you. Do you want to see the church flyer? Do you want to see how I was able to design the cap or the mark design? Or do you want to see how the clock was done using some one or two tricks in adobe photoshop all right so i would like to know what you guys think and what you guys want to see next thank you very much for being with me and please subscribe to be part of the awesome family until next time keep creating and check your screen the other video we pick for you to enjoy next we love you